What are the types of faith? The first type of faith is historical faith. This is faith that is based on mere facts of history. It is an act of the intellect. In 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 20 to 21, the Bible says, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called, which some professing have heard concerning the faith. Grace be with thee. Amen. Romans 10, 14, say, How then shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? The second type of faith is temporary faith. This is faith that is based on the state of mind of a person, per time. It is an act of the will. It is awakened by truth, religious sympathy, or the quickening of the Holy Spirit. Example, the story of Felix the governor after Apostle Paul preached to him. The Bible says he was pricked in his heart, but instead of him to accept, he just said, I will call you at another convenient season. James chapter 2 verse 19 said, Thou believest that there is one God that doest well. The devil also believe and tremble. Surely the demons believe that there is one God, but they are not saved even by this type of belief or faith. Thus, there is a need for another kind of faith. This third kind of faith is the saving faith. Faith that has internal life connected to it. When you exhibit this type of faith, salvation is given you. Thus, this salvation is only in Jesus Christ. The belief in him, therefore, grants this faith even to you. Romans chapter 3, verse 22 says, Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. Galatians chapter 2, verse 16 he said, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It is pertinent for us to realize that the object of saving faith is the revealed word of God. Saving faith is also a moral act because it proceeds from a renewed will. It is an act of the will. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, it says, But the natural man received not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3 to 4. Say, but, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine upon them. Therefore, the mind must first be enlightened by divine teaching before the man can begin to walk by faith. John chapter 6, verse 44 says, no man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Acts chapter 13 verse 48 says, And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. And as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 to 19, it said that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of your calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us all who believe according to the working of his mighty power.